Hello. Hello. I think that just you today will just do a half an hour. Just so we Okay. <laughs> so we just left off with um, Misaki calling them being like, find my body parts. And they're like, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> um, and looks like there's a little timer going on. And mm -hmm. let's read this one. Hmm. Jikan seiken tsukite koto kayo. Um, basically, there's a time limit has started, or this is with a time limit. Yep, because um, in the last sentence, she kind of says, like, class is going to start soon, so you better hurry. So he's like, oh, so in other words, you mean mm -hmm. that there's a time limit attached to this um, event, the mm -hmm. finding of her body parts. Nice. Uh, next is that. Um, asoko ni ude o okeba saki ni susumeru no kana. Um, you want to so ude? Over, yeah, so over, over there, there's an arm. I can't remember what okeru is. It means like to place something somewhere. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So you like put your arm. Uh, whose arm do you think we're talking about? Um, uh, Misaki's arm. Yep. Um. And the most part in the second part is susu meru. So that means to recommend. <laughs> That's osusume. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> osusume is to recommend, which apparently has oh, that kind of kanji. But susumu gotcha. is what this is, sumu, which means like forward, basically. Ah, uh, okay. So sumeru is um to allow someone to go forward. Um, so saki in this context would be just saying we're allowed to go forward from this point on. Mm. So we have this ba right here. Do you know what it's doing? No, sorry. So ba makes a conditional statement. So if okay. we place the arm over here, then we will be allowed to continue forward. Kana. Oh, okay. <laughs> and the kana here is just like, I guess, like mm -hmm. I want to just kind of saying I guess that's what she's saying. Mm, um, got it. Next is what Hanako kun says. Hanako kun says, uh sa demo nanika wa uh okiru daro ne <laughs> oh um but what would wake up? That's a good guess. However what would just be nani oh. Instead, right. we have ka, which means something. Something, yep. And then so we have that. daro. What's daro doing? Um, like, I wondered, or? Yep. Uh, both kana and daro are kind of like the same-ish word, but daro is just a little bit more masculine, and kana is a little bit more feminine. Mm. So it could mean like probably or you're like certain of a statement, but like you just don't know for sure. So it's like it could be, but I wonder if something's going to wake up or something will probably wake up. Um, in this case, I would probably use probably, probably. It, rather than I wonder, but it can mean I wonder. It just depends 100% on um, context. Mm -hmm. Nice. So let's see. What does Minato-kun say? Um, Heki Suyo Senpai. Um, Anna Ita Den Mushi Shite Ikimasho. Do you know what an Ita Den is? Itaden? Um, 
think that was in the vocab. I forgot. Ah, it's a prank call. Prank call. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why it says, Mushi ste ikimasho. What does that part mean? Mushi. Uh, not insect. Different kanji. Um. Well, if you look at the kanji here, we have nai and miru. Specifically, it's from like I think keshiki. Mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> I don't know. It has miru in the bottom area, so it probably uh -huh. has something to do with sight mm -hmm. and nai. So you don't see it. Or... Yes. So mushi means to ignore something. Ah. Actually, you do not see it. And then ikimasho. What does that mean? Let's just ignore it, or like let's. <laughs> ikimas. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, in this case, it's kind of like um, let's go on forward and just ignoring it. Mm. So, it's also, so it's it's like insinuating we're moving forward like physically, and we're um ignoring. Or to ignore something away from the going away from whatever you're ignoring. Mm -hmm. How about heiki? What does that mean? Um, that means like no problem. Yep. Or it's gonna be daizoubu. <laughs> hey, heiki. <laughs> um, how about this part? Uh, yameta ho ga, uh, in janai. Mm. Is it okay if we, is it all right if we stop? So it's basically saying that, what is the whole got? Is this something they're like, let's do it? Or is it more like, eh? Uh, it's like a let's do it, right? Yeah, it's kind of that. So it's like, wouldn't it be better to just give up? Mm. Whole got gets attached to things that are the better, better thing to do. So uh, it says okay. with the uh, yori, for example, would be like maybe quitting isn't the best thing to do. <laughs> uh, they probably no one would probably ever use it that way. Like it's kind of like weird, but since they have holga, it's like that's a comparative word. Okay, so let's continue with what Hanako Kun is saying. Uh, Jibunno So do you know what ryoiki means? Um, was it? I do, I feel like it wasn't in the donkey deck. Um, not for this page, but I feel like it was there in the earlier chapters. Um, it but it means like domain, like your territory. Mm. So territory nine means it within jibun no territory, isn't it? So, mm -hmm. Dibun in this case is talking about Misaki. But in general, this is like a statement about all the Nana Fushikis. So, Hanako kun also has a uh, Gyoiki somewhere, probably. Mm -hmm. Do you know what Shihai Suda means? Um, to like oversee. Uh, yeah, to to like control something to control. Okay, yeah. Do no shihai suru territory. So the territory that you govern, basically. If. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm nan da yo. It's the best. <laughs> yeah, it is like it's the best. Um, since we're having dewa here, I feel uh -huh. like insinuating that. They, the person who has the ability to control their territory, if you're within their territory, they have like the most control over it. 
since it's Dewa, mm-hmm. so it's, but it, I, I could be wrong. I just say, it's like, so, so for the Nana Fushigis, um, mm. within their territory, they, the Nana Fushigis are Saikyo, basically, is what that's, strongest. yeah, okay. that's what I would assume, it's that's Dewa. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, ore no bai toire ne. So it's like, for example, my toilet. Nice. <laughs> that's that's his uh ro iki desu ne. He's psycho over there apparently. Um and now you can read that. Um Um Mo Moshi Michi o um Haizure de Okora Setarish um so if the right that's if mosi has it so if you uh enter the road that'd be like haidu or something um hazuru means to um to to separate things so in this okay. case it basically means to leave the michi mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so if that happens then you will be um okorase da um okora oh t- to be angry so to be angry would be if it was normal which is okoru so oh, this okay. term means to cause someone else to feel anger. Okay. So okoru is to be angry. So if you oh, okay. you leave the street, you'll be angry. It would be okoru. But since they're not the one being angry, Misaki is the one being angry. Mm-hmm. Okoraseta. So you will anger somebody or something like that if you if you leave the road. Okay. How about do naru? Uh, I'm not sure about that one. So okay. this is coming from over here where we have tada, which makes uh-huh. it an if-then statement. So okay. if you leave the road and you anger somebody, what will you do? do not a, what, like, what will you do well, okay. if you anger her? And that's also why there's a ka there. It's like, what would you do? <laughs> she has, she's psycho. Uh, so let's see. Now you get to read that. Uh, ta mitai nara tomenai kedo. Hi. Do you know what ta 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 tameshi means? Uh, to try. Yep. So to oh. try, try. Uh, I know all the words, I just don't know how to make it a sentence <laughs> that makes sense. What does um, tomeru mean? To stop, right? So then we have tomenai. How does that change? To not stop. So over here it'd be I will not uh-huh. stop you if you have him die. Yep. So this nada is another um, if then statement. So there's a lot of mm. if then statements in Japanese, and they're very different than English in that it's very specific when you can use them. Mm-hmm. So like, this is a very much a like. I don't really want to go into how they're different, but you can't like replace them with each other. Okay. Something like so, you, you'll learn them as you learn Japanese. Okay. Oh, watch out for that. <laughs> yeah, in English, we just have if and like when. That's it. Mm-hmm. Just got the two. And in Japanese, they have like five and they're all different. <laughs> uh, the difference tends to be like what is allowed. Like, are you okay. making a general statement or you're making a more specific statement is how they're different. Mm. Uh, so 
So let's see, what does Yashiro say? Uh, Hitomazu iwareta um, tori ude o sagashite, sagashite miyoka. Nice. Let's pause right there. Okay. <laughs> so the, it's just sagashite miyo. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's like it's, it's a small to just, you know, because she's friendly. Okay. Um, so for now, mm -hmm. let's look for the arm, like she said. Exactly. Perfect. So next, this line. Then, wa no, uh, koe kara shite, um, Onna no hito no miki ude yo ne. Um, so, uh, from the voice in the phone. Mm -hmm. um, the contest is what they're looking for. Uh, so let's look for the arm. Mm -hmm. It's so they're looking for the right arm from a woman. An the right arm. Yeah, the right arm of the woman. And that that that's really all it's saying. So like the, they the voice they, in the phone. Yeah, that's, that's they, so yeah, from from the phone, right? There's there's the the right arm of a lady. That's what we're looking, looking for. So looking for it. insinuated from the last sentence. Okay. And let's see, what does Minato kun reply with? Uh, senpai ga so iyun nara. Um, if senpai says so. Yep, exactly. So yeah, nara is a very like an if, not mm -hmm. when. So if, sen if senpai says that, then I will do this. Mm -hmm. Um. So here's our Hanako kun. So, so, uh, sagashi, uh, ah, mono, mono, <laughs> sagashi mono, uh, mo, um, ankai dashi, tanoshi, tanoshi, um, mm. need to brush up the katakana. Tanoshiyo, um, hora mite shonen. Hi. Do you know what angai means? Uh, no, I do not. So an on its own means like idea, and gai is like soto. Outside. Yep. So outside of an idea is unexpected. Angai. So the un unexpected is tanoshi. This is unexpectedly that? fun. Uh, the, uh, I... <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> like when I read this, I have to say the un unexpected is fun. It's like how it goes in my head. But mm. there's nothing wrong with your interpretation. There's there's nothing grammarly saying that's wrong. <laughs> that's that that sounds good too. Okay. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sagashi mono, what's that? Uh, looking for the item. Mm -hmm. or... that, it, it's kind of right, but kind of wrong. A sagashi mono is like a item to look for. Mm. You know, like, rather than specifically saying like looking for item. Right, it's like the noun version of like yeah. the item that's being looked for. Yeah, so you could literally just write, so, so, ude. You could say, <laughs> Oh, yeah, un yep, the so yeah, unexpectedly fun to look for someone's arm. Uh, I think your way makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> um, hora mite, so and then what does that mean? Uh, look here, boy. Yep, uh, so that sounds so funny in English. Look here, boy. 
<laughs> young man. <laughs> Look here, his son. I don't know. Otakara hakken. So takara means treasure. So what does hakken mean? Um, look something to do with looking. Basically, it means to discover something. Discover. Okay. And so basically, this part right here mm -hmm. is almost kind of like you tell other people about it, mm -hmm. kind of. So like if you're doing like a hapyo, I believe is like when you stand in front of class and you have to like talk mm -hmm. with like projection. That's a hapyo has that same little kanji right there. So hakin is a discovery, but it's like a look at this type of discovery, you know? Mm -hmm. See, look, look, it's a treasure. Oh, <laughs> hi. Um, ten koku. <laughs> ten. <laughs> 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 I too would be quite mad. Teme, uh, which is you, but rude. <laughs> and then it's like um, to completely look at something. I I don't I don't like ma men me. I, I'm not mm -hmm. sure how to read, but that's to complete uh, a surface and to look at it. Um, yari yagare, which is like you've totally looked at it. I think. Like he's making fun of him looking at the. Mm -hmm. I I assume. <laughs> uh, but what does Yashiro say? Mo, uh, sa, uh, wata, uh, watashi kochi sagashiteru kara ne. Um, I'll be looking over here. I'm searching over here. Yep. And let's see. What does Hanako continue to do? Uh, demo, uh, yeah, yeah, buddy. Yep, yep, yeah, buddy. buddy. Okay. Um, demo, yeah, buddy. Uh, naiori wa arab bo de shi. I think. Demo, yeah, buddy. Naiori wa aru ho de sho. <laughs> oh, sure. Talk about opai this ne, opai ni like yashiro. <laughs> Demo yappari nai yori wa aru ho de sho. But you so, don't know, I guess. Demo, however, not having is less than having, right? Uh, you can see she. She definitely like heard this and she's a little upset about it. <laughs> so basically saying it's better to have boobs than to not have boobs. Mm -hmm. So it's have at um senpai, because you know he has a crush on senpai. And he goes, <laughs> Yamero! Stop it. Um so I looked at this kanji and uh -huh. it actually means one true character. So it's like the face, like a human face. So mm -hmm. seeing completely someone's face would be the one's true character. So kanji could be interpreted in many ways. So it's like you've shown your true colors then, I guess, oh, my gosh, gosh. rather than you completely looked at the oppai. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the, that's why it's always good to look at words even if you know what the kanji are. Mm. Hi. It, so what does um, Yashiro think. Watashi datte onna no ko na no ni otoko no ko te. What does onna no ko mean? Like a uh, girl. Yes. And then she has na no ni. The most important part here is no ni. You know what no ni means? Um, like, okay, but. <laughs> yeah, it's like a but. Specifically, it's more like an even though kind of but. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. even though watashi, watashi datte, even though I am a girl, 
And then that's been like fully dropped off. The context is, even though I'm a girl, these two boys are running around holding porn mags and are <laughs> yelling who knows what. So because of that, she goes, Ozukote, which is boys. Even though I'm a girl, those boys. Ah. Uh. <laughs> so she's basically saying, how dare these boys run around with the porn mags? Hi, hi. Nanka. What does that mean? Wait, where are you reading? It's it's written right over here on the on the bottom. Oh. Oh. So kutsu Joku means what a dis- means a disgrace. So nanka jutsu joku means what a disgrace. Basically, like so disgraceful. I hate katakana. Demo, <laughs> <laughs> but oh, now she's thinking about opai too. Um, what does she think? Yappari, I you no ga ii no kashira. Um, so this is basically, I believe, um, bra sizes, like something like that. Um, so it'll be good. Yeah. So, so as expensive things like that, are you? Oh God. I guess things like that is good. So she's talking about the opai, isn't it? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, as expensive, having opai is better than not having opai. <laughs> um, and kashida is just like, um, in this case, it would be like, I guess. But mm-hmm. it's like, I wonder. But if I said, I wonder, but it's, it's not saying, oh, I wonder if having boobs is good. It's more like, I guess, I guess it's better to have them than the not, you know? And then she has this little fantasy right here. Which is if in that way, fu can mean like describing a way in which like someone's physical characteristics normally, like mm-hmm. an elf. So in that way, if I became like that, I would also, um, and I think she's saying I would also be fond over. Yoroshiku! Mm-hmm. ねねさま、ねねさま。いや。あ、待って。What else does Nice. We can ignore to for now. Mm. What does dame mean? It's like that's no good. Yep. So that da is just a stutter. Well, um, chanto sagasa is what she's saying. Oh, oh. <laughs> what does that mean? Chanto. Uh, like looking properly. Yes. So. Naito, do you know why it looks like this? Um, it has to do with what to is doing here. Mm-hmm. So to can go between two sentences, which kind of creates a cause and effect, being that if the first part of the sentence occurs, then the second one will happen as well. Like if you had a bunch of um, dominoes set up, and you flick mm-hmm. the first domino, well, it's going to hit the second one. Oh, that's just what happens. Um, that's what it um, does. It's not like an aggressive relationship. It's just, it is what it is, is um, kind of what it does. So with this toll right here, um, mm-hmm. it's saying if we do not look for her correctly, then something bad will happen. This is a very mm-hmm. common phrase in Japanese. You do naito to insinuate. Um, if we do not look for her, then Aoi chan wa shinu, or something like that. Like, mm-hmm. we, or we will all die rather than just Aoi dying. 
So it's very common for Naito. That, that's like a culture, meaning that since it's a cause and effect relationship, what's being dropped off is going to be negative. Okay, uh, it's like an or else. <laughs> yeah, or else. So um, in, in this sense, it'd be like, I better find them. Like if you just <laughs> drop there, you could do that. Like, but because it's the, as you said, it's the or else is mm. dropped. Mm. Oh, this is, and that is where we're going to pause. Yeah. Today. <laughs>